The, the Kez JP derbies is, is one of the oldest derbies in the country. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic occasion. And especially, you know, the double headers, which we've been playing now for the last few years. And when you line up in front of the school, I'd say just looking at the black and white, it's just like, wow. So just being there, there's like this energy, there's the buzz of, you know, like, like he has the top sides. And it's packed to the rafters in front of tens of thousands of people. Some of them will never play from this class. Ever. Uh, for both schools. Old boys come back to the school and, and, and come and share their experiences. And for the school boys, it's great. It's wonderful because they get a chance to compete against their bitter rivals from across the hill. Though there's rivalry, but the boys itself off the field, it's just like how we are friends and everything. And on the field, how we can, how we can be so competitive. Uh, King has always prided itself in believing that they could rugby school. But when uh, Carl Spolas arrived, he was like adamant that we needed to be in that league and competing with the best of the best. So he kind of put the program together to drive us. So yes, I was, I was fortunate enough to be employed by King Edward VII School and now at, at JP High School for Boys. So I've been on both sides of the fence with, 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 with the derby. I was really privileged to have attended King Edward to start off with. Wow, what, a, what, what an amazing institution, just in terms of uh, the ethos, the culture. But, you know, the one thing that sticks with me is the oak trees, the slanted rugby field, um, the stories, you know, you, as you, you know, I think as a, as a youngster, when you walk into the school, you, 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 you are regaled with all these stories of how past first teams have gone and, you know, and, and you sort of fall in love with rugby. By the time the winter comes, you're chomping at the bit. Then you realize uh, that the little grade eight guy at, at King Edward, he's, he's a rugby player, is dying for that red jersey. It, it, it's special. There's a mystique around it. It, it, it really drives young guys to, to, to go beyond the, 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 the norm to try and play for the first side and wear that, that red jersey. Calvin Miles, he's going, he'll be under the poles. Dry time keys. You know, it's one of the few schools in South Africa where the first team jersey and the rest of the school's jersey are different. You know, so there's, already there's a point of difference and you walk into the school, that's what you aspire to become. So yeah, really, what a place, man. Yeah, in recent years, especially for Kez, is one of the better years we've had. By the time we were in the trip, just clicked. And we just played some exceptional rugby. The way the school got behind us, it was just a special year for my rugby career and for the school as well. Just doing, um, just beating JP at home, which was our final game for the guys going to SS schools, was really, really special. Which was one of the biggest crowds I've ever experienced at Kez. JP is, is, is like any other boys' school in South Africa. Um, the boys are extremely proud of their school. And it's, a, it's a school with a, with a very, very rich tradition. It's the oldest boys' school in Johannesburg uh, that have produced leaders in sport and industry. So we're extremely proud of, of JP and their achievements over, over many years. Two years ago, we beat uh, King Edward twice. And the other victory for us that, that's, that's quite special is last year when Zouakli's team beat us comfortably here comfortably at our home ground and we beat them in Houghton where, where I think the last team to have done that was Jake, Jake White's team to have been with King Edward at Houghton. Uh, well I was a schoolboy here from 1977 and uh, then I came back to teach here in 1986 so yeah I've been affiliated with the school for a long time you know I was a boarder here, I was a housemaster here, I coached the first 15 I suppose this is where it all started for me uh, you know probably in derby days like this where you could play against the best and see how good you are. Jake White, they must man. believe in themselves, that they certainly are. Um, and then subsequently, you know, that was in my weekend. It's a fantastic way to play. Some, some things you just can't train, and I think uh, this man, Muzi Manike, just has abundant talents and a vision for the game. To be part of um, the Derby Day against um, King Edward the Seventh School is always amazing. From the age of 14 all the way to all the way to first team. All we see is the black and white, black and white, black and white. All we see is the black and white, black and white, black and white. Black and white. Black and white.
one thing I can say definitely about JP Rugby is that it taught me how to humble myself. I remember it's actually a funny story. Um, the first game it was uh, my grade eight year, um, where I arrived um, a bit late for for practice on that on that Friday, and they dropped me to the to the to the B team, and that really humbled me. That was one of the most um, life changing experiences where. I thought, if I'm being honest, I thought that I was the main man coming from primary school, but then being humbled in that sense of like, wow, this school observes rugby. It's not just about rugby, it's about the man in the rugby jersey. And yeah, I enjoyed it. The, the, the school is amazing. Loved every single second of it. And yeah, the, what's left now is memories and experience. And yeah, every time I visit the school, I can still feel the energy over there. Uh, you know, we, we would like to rather not not focus on what could have been. Let's rather look at the future and say to these young boys, um, it's just a hurdle, you know, and, and you must, you've got to get over the hurdle and look and see what 2021 and 2022 are going to give you. Um, can't can't change the past, but you can change the future.